After 9-11, the United States campaigned on two key themes. That not only was Iraq hiding WMD, but the terrorists could use them against the West. The British Prime Minister, Tony Blair, helped his friend George Bush to make the case for invading Iraq. Today we published a 50-page dossier detailing the history of Iraq's weapons of mass destruction program. Tony Blair claimed that Iraq could deploy its WMDs within 45 minutes. And that British military bases on the Mediterranean island of Cyprus could be on Iraq's hit list. Despite heightened fears of terrorism in the United Kingdom, there was strident opposition to the coming war. More than a million people marched in central London. I think there's a problem here, isn't there, of guerrilla warfare? Some military leaders who had fought against Iraq in 1991 questioned the urgency of combat in 2003. My very first reaction was it's extraordinary to send your armed forces to war without the support of the British people. Major General Cordingly, chair of the Cavalry and Guards Club, warned in early 2003 that attacking Iraq would entrench hatred of the US. The Arab world, the Arab street, looks pretty fed up with the idea. I mean, I don't actually like the thought of the United States expanding in this way into the Middle East. I mean, I've lived there, and the, I don't think the United States recognizes how hated it is in the Middle East. Before this thing started, it'll be aloused when this thing has been finished. It was a huge mistake, and I think even without the benefit of hindsight, um, I, th I thought it was crazy at the time when I was a military planning officer from Australia. In Australia, there were street protests too. But the government should have been much more robust in its response to the Bush White House and, and essentially said, no, this is the wrong war. But for the government led by Prime Minister John Howard, the overriding consideration was to be seen in Washington as a strong ally. If terrorists ever get their hands on weapons of mass destruction, that will, in my very passionate belief and argument, constitute a direct, undeniable and lethal threat to Australia and its people. <laughs> 